Hi everyone, Ms. Jen here from the Lackawanna County Children's Library. Thank you for joining us for Danger Club today. Today I found the coolest craft, and I, I know I say this, it's not even a craft, it's an experiment. I know I say that every time, but this one's pretty cool. I was perusing on Pinterest, as I normally do for my experiments, and some of you have might have seen um, there's an experiment with a pumpkin and using vinegar and baking soda to make a volcano out of the pumpkin. I found something that goes a step beyond that. We are going to make elephant toothpaste come out of a pumpkin. I know, you can't hold your excitement. I even have my trusty goggles because I know it's going to be a mess. I can't wait. Okay, so you will need a 40 volume liquid hair developer. You can get this at Sally Beauty or any other beauty supply uh, shop. Two packets of dry yeast, warm water, food coloring. Now I have food coloring here um, but I didn't think I was going to have enough, so I have some liquid watercolor here. Um, you need a large mason jar or an old spaghetti jar that will fit into the pumpkin and will hold all of the ingredients. You'll also need some dish soap, doesn't matter what kind of dish soap. Um, a 10 inch pumpkin, and you're going to carve this pumpkin into a jack o' lantern. Uh, a small bowl. I have a jar here uh, for mixing the yeast in the warm water. A funnel. I forgot to get that part. I'm going to get that when we get started. And you'll also need safety goggles. Super, super important. I also have some, uh, what are these called? These are called gloves. Gloves, knife, measuring spoon, measuring cup, all that stuff. My hand looks really big, wow. It's like, okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm going to carve the pumpkin and then we'll get started. Also, I want to remind you that this is going to be super messy. So I want you to use a tablecloth and I have a clear glass Pyrex dish that I'm gonna put the pumpkin in. Um, you'll see why. All right, so you're gonna take your jar and we're gonna put our jar right in the center there. You want a big enough jar so that the solution, now this is hydrogen peroxide, 40 volume, 12%. We want one cup of the peroxide. And I'm actually gonna put on some gloves. Um, when you do this experiment, please, please, please have an adult do this part. Um, because you can get burned by peroxide, believe it or not. All right, so I need one cup of the peroxide. Very carefully pour it into my jar. And this is a half cup that I'm using, so two of these. Okay, 
I'm pouring in the peroxide. In the water? No, in oh. the jar. Oh, the water. Okay. okay. Miss Janie is here with me today. She wanted to see this experiment. All right, so we want two tablespoons of dish soap. Dish, dish, dish. soap. <laughs> One, two. Okay, I measured out six tablespoons of warm water. That'll be for our yeast. But before I do that, I want to put some coloring into the jar. Then I'll open up my yeast. Pour it into the jar. And hopefully my water is warm enough to dissolve. Okay. And mix it up. We'll mix it up for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna move this up. Janie, how's that look on the screen? Can you see it okay on the screen? All right, the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed because if this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna cry. All right, here we go. Very slowly, I'm gonna pour this in and then back away because this is going to get very hot. I'm gonna move my computer too because that'll be also sad. Good, all right, let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's awesome. oh my gosh. How Thanks. cool. <laughs> it looks like a scam almost. Oh my gosh. What do you think? It's great. Miss Janie it approves. Great. I approve too. And Very I'm not going to touch it because it is hot. I can feel how warm it is. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Ms. O'Hanley is here to look at the project too. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. It is. It came out really cool. It looks like toothpaste. <laughs> That's better elephant toothpaste than the time you made the elephant toothpaste. Guys. How awesome was that? So cool. And the cleanup is actually really easy once like a couple minutes just to let it cool down um it's all soap and hydrogen peroxide is oxygen and water so we can wash all your stuff out in the sink it's safe it's the coolest project ever i know i say it all the time but that one was pretty cool all right guys well if you try this experiment please post it on our Facebook, tag us, whatever. I want to see all of your creations. All right, guys. Well, I will see you in two weeks. In two weeks, I will have my mad scientist lab for Danger Club. Um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I seem to think that everything that I do is pretty cool. I hope you think it is, but, you know, just not. Yes, Miss Jenny. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.